the little fat guy is the best left winger I've ever seen. Wonderful player. Here he is, John Robertson. to think when he said those sort of things. Oh, I loved it. I was getting, getting some attention, so I loved it. But can I just, I just wanted to thank everybody for coming. I can't believe yeah. it turned out as a, for, for, well, I can believe it for these boys because they're unbelievable. Well, so are you. You were fantastic. Yeah, 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 but, uh, in, uh, yeah go on. Ask me. No, you? no, go on. You tell no, me. No, I'm more interested in what you've got to say. Go on. Well, I sometimes find it a little bit embarrassing, these, these things coming and voting this and voting that and uh, I'm extremely humbled to have played with these these boys who are brilliant footballers, and I'd rather go down the line of talking about them than uh, how great I was supposed to be. Because, uh, well, I'll tell you what, you were inducted as an individual yeah. into the Hall of Fame in well, Manchester. Well, they should have been, shouldn't they? Well, they're going to be tonight, John. But, yeah, but you, you find it embarrassing, so don't you talk about yourself. I, I, I'll get I, Martin O'Neill, who's going to really do the induction properly now, I to talk about I, the little I, fat I, fella on the left wing. Martin, I, I was just saying that he doesn't want to talk about himself, it's all about you lot, but it was about him as well, and I said who better to reenact the induction than Martin O'Neill, so you can talk about him please. Okay, yep, this shouldn't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> he was my boss, you know. Uh, I've known John uh, 45 years and uh, 14 days. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah, because I met him the day after I signed way back in late 1971. And um, John was already in the first team. He was 18 years of age at the time, and he was still in the first team playing at Nottingham Forest. John was playing centre midfield, wonderful, wonderful player, could pass the ball all over the pitch with either foot, couldn't get the ball to save his life. But, um, but could really play when he had it. And um, uh, the team, uh, the great Ian Story Moore was playing at the time. John was a, a burgeoning talent, there's no question about that. We thought he was going to, if ever he's going to make the grade, he's going to make it at centre midfield, be one of the top players. The club was struggling, finally got relegated, and, but John looked as if he was really on the up. And uh, successive managers at the time, Matt Gilley saw great talent in him. Dave Mackay saw great talent in him. Dave left and then a manager called Alan Brown came in in 1973 and didn't see the talent that John had. In fact, the manager nearly was selling him to, was it to, it, John says it was Partick Thistle. I thought it was the now the defunct third Lanark he was going to, but uh, they were the next one. luckily John didn't go and uh, and when you talk about the rest being history, it really was that John was stayed on. And what he didn't realize that just round the corner uh, was uh, Brian Clough and Peter Taylor, who definitely changed uh, John's career in every aspect. And <clears throat> John, fantastic player. But I have to tell you, one, honestly, there was no question. An intelligent lad as well, too. But if there was a nay level for moaning, he would have got an A star, I swear. I swear, I mean, I used to think I was the biggest moaner of all time. I thought I was the king of moaning, but I handed the crown over to John because he was just in a league of his own. And he was so, he was so desperate as well to, you always had to be praising John all the time, every time. It was, a, you know, breakfast in the morning over cornflakes, John, you're brilliant. You know, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, you're brilliant, John. You're really, really brilliant. Just before we got kicked out onto the field, John, you're really brilliant. You're really, really brilliant. No, you, no, you were even more brilliant than you were this morning. You're brilliant. <laughs> then after training, John, just fantastic. <laughs> so, and even when he was in the first team as well to afterwards, either home or away, we used to go down to an old pub called the King John. I'm not even sure it still exists anymore. Is it still there? All right. And we were only kids at the time, but so Dave Sorella, his big, big pal, Jimmy McCann and myself, we used to say, when John comes in, 
just so that we have a decent evening. Just tell him he was, just tell him he was brilliant. So Dave Sorella said to him, John, honestly, you were great this afternoon. Well played indeed. It wasn't your fault that we got beaten 7-1 by West Ham, you know. <laughs> so, so you can imagine the sort of scene when um, Brian Clough and Peter Taylor arrived. Changed his life, changed John's attitude, changed his demeanor, didn't change his clothes, I've got to tell you. you know? <laughs> John went from being the most avant-garde dresser, following Roxy music all over the country, to actually painting his own desert boots, you know? And um, they used to go from a sort of a, a funny color, John, until almost like dark brown, to tell you the truth. But anyway, it didn't stop Robertson from just being the most gifted, wonderful footballer you'd ever imagine. Really, really fantastic footballer. And he moved. And Brian Clough and Peter Taylor moved him from center midfield to wide outside left. And if I tell you, and I think all the lads would say to you here, I think we all agree, he was the fulcrum, the fulcrum of the team. Peter Shilton was absolutely most fantastic goalkeeper. We talked about an outfield influence. John Robertson from wide left-hand side of the field was just the fulcrum of the team, the mainstay of the side, as um, Mr. Clough said, get out to that little fat geezer and we'll all be okay. <laughs> and he wasn't fat at that time at all. He was absolutely not. He was a wee bit pudgy, but not fat. And, <laughs> and he just, for about five years, he was just, I, I, I think, I think the best player in Europe, without doubt. Honestly, best player in Europe. <laughs> um. Oh. And yeah. Two seconds. Yeah. And as and as uh, as Wendy Taylor said, players a lot to do with it. A lot of playing. Played with some fantastic players back there, but John was just just sensational. So, for me, this is a, a honestly just to be asked tonight here to come here and present this award to him. He's already been inducted into the Hall of Fame, which he should have got years and years ago. And I, and I think it's just from, from, from all of us here, just think, you're just fantastic, man. Fantastic. Thanks, Martin. Well done.